Hello my friends, this is Karsten again bringing another Shogun 2 commentary battle from the rice fields. I am versing uh, DD, and he is a very nice guy. I was talking to him before the match a little bit about Rome. And uh, he is a full of the samurai army. I've been playing a lot of these lately, so I figure why not get uh, another one of these in. Uh, right now, um, I have a pretty cav heavy army, I would say. Uh, I have some fire cav over here on my right flank. I got three yari cav and a bow cav, and I have a light cav. In the middle, I have three yari ashigaru, four nodachis, and a naganita warrior monk. And these guys will uh, do a very good job later on in the battle. Um, my opponent Didi, he has some um, shogun guard cav and some yari ki. And wow, these guys are. Very good. I was thinking about bringing Great Guard for this battle. Actually, I just played this battle and it was so good. There was no way I couldn't make a commentary about it. And uh, he actually had these guys appear. I mean, two of some uh, Yari Ki. So he actually has more Cav than me. I thought I had a Cav Heavy Army, but he has way more. I also brought these Fire Rocket guys. I figured they'd be good against some uh, a big Cav Army, or even if uh, he brought melee troops. I thought they'd be really good, but. I end up not using them so well, as we see. Uh, but anyway, I want I want to capture the sword dojo because I know it's going to help me. Um, and he's trying to capture the morale dojo because it's probably going to help him when it comes to the melee fight if he can f get some uh, firepower on me. Uh, so he has some uh, Tosa riflemen come out of the woods right now, and he, these are match like Kachi. And I was trying to use my bow cav just to sort of fire at him a little bit there. Uh, so right now he's uh, going around with his cav. I'm trying to get my fire rockets over here to pull off a volley at these guys because the less cav they have on this flank the better. Uh, so we're in quite the tough position here because I have no melee, no, no, ugh, no ranged troops. And he has uh, 150 guys. These are all 150 and these aren't even toast riflemen. So these are really good melee. Uh, he brings up his cav over here to engage me because no, he knows he'll win even though he doesn't have uh, the numbers. I just fired some uh, fire rockets over here. And now he's going to charge my guys, some fire cav versus some really upgraded Yari keys. And he's going to do a really good job. I messed up micromanaging over here. I should have been charging this spear unit in. And I was hoping that they'd get another volley off. So seeing my missed micromanagement, I'm going to start pulling these cav back. And actually, to my luck, he pulls his cav back for some reason and doesn't see my little mistake here. So he tries running through my Yari Ashigaru. Uh, he actually doesn't lose any guys there. My rocket fires one, but he gets through this Yari Ashigaru like nothing. Like, look at his guys just run through. Like, none, none of these guys, barely these guys get stopped. Especially that unit gets to my fire rockets and sort of kills them off. So I send some cav over here to sort of mop up the rest of his cav. I have a Yari Ashigaru back here to try to mop up this cav. And, he's, and look at that, pulling off a lot of shots. Nearly destroyed one of my Nodachi Samurai. So I figured... He has no cast support in the middle. My, I have a good amount of inf infantry here, so I'm just going to charge in. Try to get rid of his infantry and try to hold off this large portion of cav that's running towards me with uh, some bow cav. Uh, but I see that he stopped there for a second, so I'm like, oh, I might as well charge in to try to get a melee blob going in the middle. Uh, I ended up mopping up his cav in the back here. Now I'm trying to get my guys up forward because I see he's about to charge me in the back. So I charge uh, this uh, Shogun Guard Cav with my Yari Cav to hold them off from the main engagement. Uh, I got these guys to charge that Cav, that Yari Key in the back. And I get uh, these Yari uh, Cav to charge the United States Marines. Now the, the highlight of this part of the battle right here is I need to stop his guys from firing at me. Like you see how he's running away, kiting? Well the main point of his army right now is to kite because he needs to f get some fire on my infantry because my infantry will destroy them with a sword dojo in the melee fight. And he needs to get his cav charging in to the behind my uh, behind my nodachis because I don't have that many spear units guarding them right now. I sort of did a bad job micromanaging that. So right here he's going he's gonna to charge my general. I just had terrible micro this match. I'm trying to I'm worried about his cab charging my back, and I'm also trying to make sure I charge all of his units who are running away from me, because I don't want his guns to get away from me and pull off free shots. So at that point in the battle, as you hear, uh, my general dies, and at that point, it's uh, it's it's going to be tough from here on, because he doesn't he has the morale dojo. I lost my general, and even if 
even if I had the sword dojo, charges uh, from Cav and my on my infantry will uh, do terrible amounts of morale damage and could cost mass routes very easily. Uh, so at this point, I am trying to run my ass as quick as I can towards these uh, towards these guys who have guns still. His Royal Marines and his United States Marines. I'm hoping that this Yarashigaru will hold against this Cav, and I am just trying to. These guys, I don't know what's going on. These guys will run like a few steps and take a look at that. What are they doing? Keep on. I want these guys to charge as quick as I can. I need to destroy these infantry. So I have a Yari Ashigaru cut them off in hopes that my. Yeah, look at that. They just pause and run. I don't know what's going on there. Weird glitch. Uh, but as you can see, mopping up those infantry there really helped out. It's destroyed a good portion of his army because his army was so cav heavy, he lost most of his cav back there. And so I'm, I'm just trying to catch up with these guys now, these Royal Marines. I'm, I'm finally catch them right here, which is good. Uh, but my general is dead, so this is looking like it's a, it's a pretty close match. I figure that I can pull back now with these units, trying to make him stop from rounding, because his general, thank God, is a melee general. Because if he was a gun general, I'd be screwed. But uh, I destroy uh, his Royal Marines over there with these Nodachis. And these guys really don't have a chance of living seeing that he has his general coming towards them. And so now the the hard part is how I go about trying to defeat his Tosa Rifleman and his general. Because I only have two really good units. I have this Nodachi right here who has 28 guys mind you. And I have like a full warrior monk unit, which is pretty good. So I need these guys really to live if I want this fight to go on at all. So uh, I got, I'm trying, I'm, I'm taking this uh, morale, do, morale dojo right now, and it's now in my control. And I got the sword dojo. So my guys do have pretty good stats. But against his general, let's look at his general. 26 melee attack, 20 melee defense. And his armor and charge bonus is unbelievably good at melee combat. And look at this, he's dismounting him. So even my, even if I might get rid of his charge bonus a little bit, they are going to do so much better because I have so many spears, his cab wouldn't be able to fight him. So now how am I going about going attacking this 150 range unit? I mean, they're going to kill a lot of guys over open ground. I mean, this is rice fields. This is like the grassy flatlands of Napoleon Total War, just in Shogun. So I need to make sure I go about him at all sides to try to make sure I, he doesn't pull off as many shots as he can. And I think he made a mistake there. I think he should have shot these guys. I mean, it could have even broke him if he pulled off a good volley there and started to kite. But that was a little mistake I think he made right there. But uh, as we can see, these guys are going to do a lot of damage anyway. I mean, look at that. But see what I mean? If he would have pulled off that volley just a little bit earlier, he could have pulled back a lot sooner. So uh, these Yari Ashigaru charge into his general. I got these Yari Ashigaru going around to charge uh, his Tosa Rifleman because I do not need these guys supporting his general. If these guys, if his, uh, if Tosa Rifleman can support the general, my Nakanita warrior monks will be destroyed. So I decide to charge in these Yari Ashigaru into the Tosas. Uh, but they are in guard mode and they did a fantastic job um, uh, coding or whatnot the guard mode in. Uh, fall of the samurai because these guys will still shoot tons of shots at them and route them so this is going down to a really close battle here I don't have my general by both dojos I charge both these units into the toast of riflemen to stop them from firing but I'm, I'm, I'm look at that they still get off a few good shots he's firing at my nodachis and look at that he's routed my nodachis now so this is this is down to the bo this is down to the skin and bone right here. I got one unit left. He has his general with seven men and his Tosa rifleman still firing, mind you, on my guys. My guys are in the midst of I don't know what these guys are doing. Look at them. Are they, they they have their own little dances going on there. But thank God for me, War Cry comes in at last minute. This is my last hope. If I can route these Tosa riflemen, then 29 versus five, I have a pretty good chance. I think. But will it happen? Are these guys? Oh, and look at that. The Tosa Rifleman break just in time. But, I mean, this is down. This is down to the one, uh, one unit. This is tough. He has his general still who has really high attack. So this is, this is really close here. As we can see, he's killing a couple of my guys. But 
From what we can tell, he was wavering and I wasn't, and I won the battle, slightly. So honestly, that was a great battle to my opponent, super close, and I just enjoyed that battle so much, so let's get to the results screen. Uh, in, the, in that battle, I did a terrible job with my uh, fire rockets there, so my opponent did a good job of killing them, and they cost like a thousand koku. So I was good by him, but he really needed to pull off more volleys on my infantry, because he could have won if he if uh, he would have uh, just fired off his infantry more at me. Because at the beginning there, uh, when the infantry battle started, you saw that he destroyed, literally destroyed my one of my Nondachis, but he still had like three infantry units that weren't firing yet. If he would have got those up sooner, I I didn't realize his infantry was so close. He could have. Uh, done devastating casualties for me and to, to me and won the game. Surprisingly that intense battle only lasted 10 minutes as you can see the battle duration which is quite, uh, quite short for such a good battle. Um, take a drink real quick. Uh, let's see I deployed 970, he deployed 600. Uh, he killed more guys than me by to de de deploy more. Uh, let's see here. Let's see Nodachi, thank god for these not gonna need warrior monks. And the Marine Corps, I called them. Uh, but as you can see, my Nodachis and uh, Marine Corps did do good. Along with my Bokev, did a pretty good job charging in there, trying to keep their units in melee. And as you can see, look at that. 13 kills by the Fire Rockets. Had a terrible job micromanaging, as you guys saw, but still, great battle. I mean, look at those Tosas at the end there. Got 144 kills. Uh, so I hope you guys took away something from this battle and learned from uh, me and my opponent's mistakes or what I think our mistakes were. Um, it was a great battle. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, you all have a nice day. Thank you.